Hey folks, Peter here, and I just wanted to share something with the group, something I found that I thought was pretty cool. Um, this has to do with Amazon Merch uh, in conjunction with a WordPress and WooCommerce website. Uh, I thought maybe this, we could get some ideas going. This might help some of us get some traction in these lower tiers. And so um, here's what it is. And so here's a little WordPress website I spun up uh, just for this example and it's it's totally empty right now Bulldog Shirt Company and then what I'm gonna talk about is a plugin called WooZone and WooZone runs on the backbone of an Amazon merchant affiliate account and an affiliate account is uh, an account where you send people through links to get to Amazon products and when they buy them you get a commission and uh, none of the products are normally yours or anything like that but I just thought check this out it's it's kind of cool um, so on Amazon uh, first of all in Chrome I have a, a Chrome extension from WooZone and so it's this special extension it adds this little purple button on on all the products so you go on Amazon merch and you'd find your own products uh, the ones that you want to be gaining traction and you would add them to your list. You can see it up here. It's adding them to the list. I'll add that one. I'll add this one. Uh, I will add a couple of my own. That one. I'll add this one. I don't really care if you guys see these because they're not really selling. They're not really worth copying anyway. <laughs> so here we can see I have uh, four different shirts added to the queue. Uh, now I'm going to get the ASINs from that by clicking this. Um, so here's these four shirts that I added that would be my own. And I come back to WooZone and I go to insane import mode. And I tell it I have a list. I put in these. They're separated by commas. I'm going to add these ASINs to the queue. Here they are in the queue. Four shirts. They're all checked. I'm going to go ahead and I didn't make a category in my WooCommerce store, but I'd, it'd be like a shirts category or something like that. So uh, I'm going to use all the images and all the variations, and I'm going to spin the text on import because Google doesn't like to see totally copied text from a different website. And I'm going to import all the attributes. So importing the products. It's just going to fly through here. It's picking the products up from Amazon right now and importing them into the WooCommerce store on this site. And so this can take a little while because there's like five different colors and, you know, however many different sizes. So we can see that there's like 257 different variations of these four shirts. It's quite a bit, but it actually goes pretty fast when you think about all the stuff that it's pulling out of Amazon right now. All right, it is finished closing it. So now I'm back to the main page on my Bulldog shirt company. I'm going to refresh. All right, so now we've got shirts in a WooCommerce store, and these are Amazon shirts. Um, I'm going to jump into incognito mode because I don't want it to think that I'm logged in as the admin just a minute here it's, we're gonna now we're gonna pretend that this is a WooCommerce store out on the net and it's mine of course uh, and so I might be advertising for this site or for these products maybe a little Google merchant ads who knows what and uh, so some random person comes to my site and they want this shirt they're like oh it's a cool shirt I like it um, I'm gonna get men's brown uh, large. There we have it. So they add it to their cart. It's been added to the cart and then they go to check out. And what happens? Well, they get redirected to Amazon. This plugin actually takes these products and here we land on this. Confirm that you want to add these to your cart. Continue. So while the shirts are actually in a WooCommerce store, when they go to check out, it 
adds my shirt on Amazon to their Amazon cart and they can go ahead and check out. I mean, if that's not cool, I don't know what is. So you can sell shirts this way and it's like you're selling them on a totally different website, but you actually get the person to buy it from Amazon. The other thing you get is you get the Amazon affiliate um, commission. So you're not only getting the profit from the shirt that you sold, you're getting a commission for sending people to it. Is that crazy?